Thank you all. I'm, I'm sorry that I wasn't able to be there earlier. Um, I had to get my four-year-old tested for COVID unexpectedly. Um, so uh, chair and members of the committee, thank you for the opportunity to speak to you today. My name is Dr. Alexis Ritvo. I'm a board certified addiction psychiatrist and assistant professor of psychiatry and the program director for addiction psychiatry fellowship at the University of Colorado School of Medicine. I'm here today representing myself and the Benzodiazepine Action Work Group with the Colorado Consortium for Prescription Drug Abuse, for which I'm founder and co-chair. I'm here to express my support of the Massachusetts Senate Bill 1260 and House Bill 2117. Benzodiazepines are a powerful controlled substance that inhibit the central nervous system and are most commonly used to treat insomnia, anxiety, seizures, alcohol withdrawal, and muscle spasms. Several me medical experts have referred to prescription benzodiazepines as the next prescription opioid epidemic. I see a lot of similarities with current trends in benzodiazepine prescribing and how the opioid epidemic began with increasing opioid prescribing for pain without proper understanding and education of prescribers and patients about the risks of long-term prescription use. The percentage of medical visits where benzodiazepine were prescribed have doubled from 2003 to 2015, and half of those prescriptions came from primary care, where physicians we know um, and providers are given very little time to see patients to address a lot of issues, and often prescribing a medication is much faster um, thing that they can do rather than trying to get them to other um, more evidence-based long-term care. Um, we also know that while evidence says that patients really shouldn't be on these medications beyond two to four weeks, that they um, end up with tolerance and many um, long-term risks that majority, once they are started, will be continued on, on these medications long-term. Um, and again, that's often because of a lack of other resources um, and lack of education. Um, I can say this has even affected me personally. A few months ago, I learned an immediate family member of mine had been prescribed Xanax for anxiety related to a medical issue. Um, and this was prescribed by a very well-known uh, community primary care physician. And I was kind of shocked to learn that um, they did not uh, even ask uh, my family member if they understood that by taking this regularly beyond two to four weeks, they'd develop physical dependence. Um, and if they were to stop it abruptly, um, they could risk uh, withdrawal symptoms, worsening of their symptoms, maybe even um, uh, rebound or a, a debilitating seizure. So um, I think we need to think about the injury that um, some patients experience with long-term benzo use, kind of parallel to long COVID syndrome. I think there's a lot we don't know about it, and it causes a myriad of symptoms, um, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. It's that we need more research. Um, I will say, the last thing I'll say is that we were able to pass Colorado um, to provide mandatory prescription drug monitor checks, as well as initial prescription prescribing benzos for someone uh, that had not had a script in the past 12 months. And so I think this bill is a good in the right direction with informed consent. Thank you. So much. Thank you, Dr.